is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, just want to let everybody know kind of what I do for a normal day job, which falls in the realm of recycling and reusing and stuff like that. So I work for a great organization, Habitat for Humanity, and we do awesome restoration projects. And today I was given my first project to run. So let's check it out. This is downtown Allentown. It's a very big building. We re already redid all of the front exterior. We're going to make new window heads. So come on in. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see. Um, this building was three stories at one time and it was an apartment complex kind of like apartments but we're going to turn it back into a single family dwelling so this has all been gutted and um reframed the next project we're going to do is we're going to take these big gorgeous entryway doors out and have them refurbished as you can see that they are really cool. Um, you just don't see that kind of craftsmanship anymore. So we're gonna, yeah, you can see there's the four doorbells where it used to be four apartments. So we already have a family that's gonna be moving in here. Um, you can see we're pulling all the old, like really nice old trim. Uh, a lot of it's trashed. You can, like if you see around the windows, there's some really neat old trim in here. We're gonna save it for this first floor as much as we can. So this is gonna be their living room area. Then you're gonna come in here and this is gonna kinda of like be a dining room area, I guess. You have your kitchen. Pretty decent sized kitchen. Obviously, none of the plumbing or rough work is done. I'm getting this in the very beginning stages of the property. This will be their powder room. Um, this is their backyard. Has a very big backyard. As you can see, it's a very good sized backyard. There's a lot of work to be done here. Um, we did the outs. I was told that the outside was done. But you can see that there's all new siding up the back. Um, we shored up the foundation. So all the exterior stuff, other than cleanup and some yard work, is pretty much done. We got a nice little hallway here. This goes down to the basement. You're not going to be able to see down there. So I am not going to take you down the basement. But I mean, look at this old wooden banister I mean, it's just amazing you know the, the amount of craftsmanship that went in I'm gonna go up these little rickety dinky steps oh boy I mean the railings are just absolutely incredible and then you have this has been framed this was all ripped out there were like little itty bitty rooms staggered all over the place so it was kind of ripped out and started over um, this I would guess would be one of the better bedrooms to have look at all that old rustic trim that's going to be for the first floor so anything we can't use for the first floor we'll end up using maybe for projects or something uh, come down here we're going to have another big bedroom back here the family that's getting this I believe has several children and this is their bathroom nice little or bathroom area here's another bedroom So yeah, this is what I do. Nice big closets. Kind of hard to get the vision for what it's going to be. 
until it becomes that. We have this floor here. We go up the old steps into the third floor. This is where the demo is still being done. This is gonna become just open space. Um, we'll probably just drywall, maybe frame out the exit like along the wall so we can insulate it a little better. And yeah, this is, uh, this is awesome. I know it looks like a mess, but I mean, look at the size of the backyard big yard so this is the first project that I was given I'm kind of taking the lead on and I'm pretty excited so I don't know if we're gonna put this in the video or not um, I do have an update I'm gonna do a little bit of a video but yeah this is it's pretty cool so all right, that's that. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Um, this is gonna be an interesting little video. This is a storage unit video. Weird thing, I got a call today from a auction, auction company online that I buy storage units online with, and they contacted me today and they said that a unit that I had bid on, the guy that won never picked it up never you know con they, they tried contacting them never never responded so i was the second bidder and they said if you want it you can have it for your high bid which was 20 bucks come get it so here i am um there's not a lot in there um it should be a quick load we'll load it up we'll check it out here we go Oh. So this unit was twenty dollars. Let me open up my truck because it's all going to fit right here, and this is it. Golf clubs. So golf club lady would be happy, and a big mystery bag. Uh, the clubs are Wilson. These are Hypertech. I don't know. I don't even know if they're any good. So there's one. There's one set of golf clubs. Let's see what's in here. We got Biomech. Lynx Master. Pinnacle. Oh, here's a ping. That's a probably pretty good one. Ping's a pretty good name. So yeah, there might be one or two good ones in here. Another golf bag. Oh, that's golf bag number two. All the years I've been doing this storage unit stuff, this is the first time that a facility has, or they have, I've been contacted about coming to get a unit that I missed. These are more Biomex. These things are pretty beat up. I'm not sure if Golf Club Lady is going to be that interested in them. There's a Wilson. I think these are kind of run of the mill golf clubs. These might not be anything any good. A McGregor bag. Track number three. In the truck you go. Let's see what's in here. Kind of light. Road Runner. Uh, there's a zipper on this pig. Oh, there it is. I think this might actually be for drums. I don't know. Like a drum case? Oh, Roadrunner. Armor cases. An old rotten basketball in there. 
take these little ones out. We'll have to check these. I don't know what these are. But these are drum cases. These might be worth a couple bucks. Ugly basketball. Uh, another, oh, whatever it is, there's a. Oh, this one's heavy. We'll go into that in a minute. There's a Franklin Grip Break football. Let's put you in the truck. I know, I'm going a little fast. But the guy wants to go to lunch, and I don't want to have to sit here and wait for an hour to get my deposit back. What's this heavy one? Drums. And there's a drum in it. So that's a drum. Those are drum cases. There's a little drum. So there you go. Score. That's what those were. Drum cases. Locker's clean. And we'll go get our Alright, well that storage unit was about a mile from the booth, so I figured I might as well pop in here and see what's going on. I haven't been here in a little while. Um, see how empty the place next to us is if the lady moved out. The owner had told me I could at least bring my display cases and stuff in here. I just can't put any merchandise in there, but I can set it up with the shelving. So hopefully the lady left a little early. I also want to grab, we have a big um, circus poster in a big frame. I want to pull that out and bring that home and use the frame for one of the rock posters. I think that's going to go a lot quicker. And I'll probably do the circus poster online. Uh, I think I'll do better with that. Um, other than that, I want to get, there's a little wall that separates our booth and the booth next to us. I want to take all the stuff off of that wall because she's going to take that wall down for me. And I don't want to have to move any of my items. I have a, like three or four things hanging on there. So we're going to go check it out. And we're going to go see what's missing. So. This is kind of like an impromptu video today. I mean I was at work. You saw. I don't know if we're going to add it. The project that I'm doing. I got the call about the storage unit. And I actually called the facility. Instead of just clicking on the email that I got because I've never had this happen before and I was a little sketchy about you know clicking on links and stuff so I called the facility themselves and he said yeah that's it's legit so we were good to go but I think that drum's going to be a nice item the drum's worth more than 20 bucks whatever I get from the golf clubs is a bonus so they're a little ragged they, they don't look as they're not as nice as they looked in the picture but it is what it is Let's go check the booth. All right, here we go. I just got told it's been a very slow week this week. That sales are not what they would like them to be. I see not much has been moved. Up oh, there's a doll that's gone from up there. Um there was something there. That's now gone. I think there's some more stuff missing in the case. I don't see a lot of empty hooks, unfortunately. Somebody was playing with the dolls. Those are all moved. Um, yeah, I don't see a whole heck of a lot going. There's one empty hook somewhere. Oh, there's an empty hook there. There's an empty hook up there. So yeah, that's the poster I want to take with me and use the poster board for something else. So we'll take that down. We're gonna move this stuff over and that way the wall will be able to be removed. So, okay, that's the update on the booth. That's going to wrap it up for this episode of Auction Life. It was a short one, but we got some neat stuff today. And this is what we did today. So 
want to thank everybody for watching keep living that auction life blah 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 and my stupid dad joke is this did you hear about the guy that invented lifesavers rumor has it he made a mint thanks for watching see you next time bye hey guys what's going on um this is just a little bit of extra footage um that we're going to add to our impromptu video that'll be coming out very soon uh i will not be attending the junk auction this coming week not that i'm not off of work or anything or that they're not going to have it but we are in the area we're in pennsylvania and we are supposed to get some major accumulation of snow and extreme freezing temperatures with wind chills below zero i believe that the last time i looked at the weather that um on monday it's supposed to be 14 degrees with a wind chill of negative like 10 or something like, like 30 mile an hour winds and i just the cold kills me i mean the last couple weeks it's been pretty cold but it's been tolerable and it's just going to be too brutally cold to go i am going to try and hit an auction maybe somewhere else on monday but there's not a lot going on in my area so i don't know if i'll have a video to put out for that if i do surprise surprise um if not i know coming up we do have not only the junk auctions will be going on i am going to start another project this weekend so possibly that video will be coming out um that's a new series that we're trying i hope everybody's interested in i've been getting pretty good reviews on the cabinet if, that i did pardon me I got the hiccups uh if you haven't seen that go back and check it out um we're going to do some more stuff like that i have a porcelain top table that i'm going to do and i also have a couple other small projects i want to get done before the end of the month uh, we're going to have a indoor tailgate auction video coming up the beginning like the first week in february where it's kind of like our tailgate auctions if you go back and watch some of the older ones this one is going to be inside where we've done consignment auctions so it's something a little different we're going to go check that out we're, we might set up depending on if i can get some stuff together so there is a lot coming on um the channel i do have we did re receive a response from our drawing winner and this is your prize it's all boxed up ready to go it's a pretty good sized box um i did do a clip of what's in there uh which once you see this video if our winner can just let us know when he receives the package we'll put the clip out of what was actually in it because i thought it was kind of cool and i hope you do too so be neat to show everybody what you got some cool stuff um anything else i think that's it i think that was enough of me babbling for a while so keep watching our videos hit that like button subscribe um spread the word i mean our our channel's growing we're happy about it it's exciting it's nice to know that you're that people like what you're doing and they'll watch you do it uh, when we do hit a thousand my fellow youtube buddy mr stacks told people in a video a while ago at the tailgate auction that at a thousand views i'm giving away a corvette so i can't be a liar so we'll have to do something so we got that coming up so thanks for watching and keep living that auction life have a good day